close your eyes, take a couple of good long deep in and out breaths. Notice where you feel the breathing in the body. Allow your attention to settle there. Because the breath is always coming in, it's always going out. And the mind needs a good place to settle. And you can make this good. If it's not comfortable, you can change the rhythm. If long breathing doesn't feel good, you can try short, fast, slow, heavy, light, deeper, shallower, or in, long, out, short, in, short, out, long. Experiment for a while to see what kind of breathing feels good. Because if the mind has a good place to stay in the present moment, it's not so irritable. And when it's not irritable, it's less likely to do things that it knows are unskillful. In fact, all the Buddhist teachings are meant to give us a solid foundation for the goodness of our lives. And the foundation is our own goodness. We're not just on the receiving end of things. We play a large role in creating the world we experience through our thoughts, through our words, through our deeds. That's our foundation. So the Buddha says a good foundation starts with generosity and includes virtue, concentration, discernment. With generosity, you're you spread the mind out. You're not so narrow in your desire for happiness. You realize that you're made happy when other people are happy too. And if your happiness depends on their suffering, they're not going to stand for it. So if you want your ha happiness to be solidly based, it has to start with your being generous. And it's voluntary generosity. It's not the kind of generosity where you have to give a present on a birthday or a holiday. These are the, this is the generosity that comes out of the goodness of your heart. And then you develop the goodness of your heart even further as you observe the precepts. No killing, no stealing, no illicit sex, no lying, no taking intoxicants. This provides a good foundation as you go through life, as you do your work, as you engage with other people, as you hold to these principles, that whatever goodness comes out of the relationship is solidly based. It's not going to teeter and not get knocked over when you start breaking precepts. So when you maintain the precepts, you're giving yourself that good, solid foundation. Even more so with concentration and discernment, the mind gets more and more solidly based as you realize you have a good place to stay right here, right now. So why disturb it with unskillful thoughts, unskillful deeds? And then when you gain discernment, you begin to realize that the urges you have to do something unskillful are things you don't have to identify with. The mind has lots of voices inside. It's like a huge committee. And sometimes the committee is in a pandemonium. But when you solidly base your goodness, okay, then there's a good foundation for the discussions in the committee to be solidly based. In other words, the reasonable voices, the wise voices, have a chance to gain power and gain control. This way, as you live in this world which is so uncertain, you've got some certainty inside that comes from the goodness you've developed. So as you take the precepts, as you meditate, Think about the solidity that you are creating in your life. Learn how to appreciate that. Because when your, your actions are well-based like this, then you're going to create a good life for yourself. And then it's going to spread out and help other people too. So if some, when you want something reliable in life, turn around and look inside. Make yourself reliable first. And then your experience of the world outside will become more and more trustworthy as well.